All right, let's take a live look out from our Chinook Winds Skycam in Lincoln City, showing the beach tonight. It looks gorgeous out there. If you've been paying attention to the national news lately, you've heard about the brutal heat that much of the country has been dealing with this summer. We've been mostly spared in our neck of the woods, but instead we're seeing some extreme warming to our west out in the Pacific. Meteorologist Joe Ranieri is here to explain what's going on and what the potential impacts are to the coast. Joe? Well, Patrick, when we talk about heat waves, you typically think about the air temperature, right? Well, there are marine heat waves, and we've been experiencing that here the last couple of months or so. So that's when basically a marine heat wave is when temperatures are well above average for five days or longer, and we've definitely gone past that five days. So ocean temperatures out in the Pacific or really out in the Atlantic and throughout the Gulf of Mexico are running much warmer from where they should be on average. Out the Pacific Ocean, five degrees warmer than normal. If you're thinking, well, that's not that much. Well, some locations are a little bit warmer than that. It does make a big difference when you're looking at temperatures closer to 70 degrees instead of maybe 63, 65 degrees. So what does this lead to? Well, it leads to algae blooms, and those can be very dangerous for sea life. And speaking of the sea life, the warm temperatures kind of changes up their migration patterns out in the oceans as well. So as we look at the current conditions out in the Pacific, this is showing out in Astoria. Take a look at the ocean temperature near Astoria and Cannon Beach, close to 70 degrees. In fact, at one point this afternoon, the water temperature was close to 70 degrees. Now, we typically see our temperatures out in the Pacific warm up this time of year, but not quite that warm and not quite this time of August, usually by the later part of August, early part of September. You travel south a little bit along Highway 101 near Newport, the ocean temperatures are a little bit cooler at 62 degrees. But as we look at the sea surface temperatures across the U.S., you can see out in the Gulf of Mexico, water temperatures, believe it or not, are running anywhere from 95 to close to 100 degrees. And that is the case out off the coast of Florida. And speaking of the coast of Florida, you might remember this. This was earlier this summer where uh, volunteers were kind of moving uh, coral around to deeper parts of the ocean. That's because the coral is bleaching. That obviously is not a good thing. That means the coral is dying because of the warm temperatures. Again, it's not uncommon to see temperatures temperatures close to 100 degrees out in the Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico by the later part of the summer. This was happening almost a month ago. So as we take a look at the West Coast in terms of sea surface temperatures, yeah, we're running on the warm side to say the least. This is what we're looking at down in parts of Southern California, uh, anywhere from about 65 to maybe 75 degrees. It's typically going to be warm on that side of the Pacific, right? Well, as we zoom in along the Central Oregon coast, Newport, you're looking at some cool conditions compared uh, to parts of Astoria and Tillamook with ocean temperatures anywhere from 62 to 65 degrees. But we go up north a little bit, even along the Washington coastline, we're seeing warm conditions. And you go well out there in the Pacific, temperatures are in the upper 60s to the low 70s. And as we look at the weather pattern over the next couple of weeks, we're still going to be seeing more of a warmer weather pattern. And that means warmer weather out in the Pacific Ocean. That's just going to lead to warmer temperatures. Again, I'm tracking a heat wave that kicks in this weekend. Basically from Saturday all the way into the middle part of next week, Pat, we're going to be looking at temperatures anywhere from 90, 95, maybe 97 degrees. A few models are suggesting close to 100 degrees by the middle part of next week. And if you're wondering, well, these temperatures got to cool off eventually, and that will be the case, but it's not going to happen until at least the early part, maybe in the middle part of September, looking at some of these long range models. Wow. I'm so glad you pointed out the water temperatures there, because I just think of the Pacific is freezing all the time, but that's really that's not warm. the case this summer. Yeah, very interesting. Thanks, Joe.